my friends. I'm continuing my experimentation with the Liquitex Basics acrylic fluid paints. Now I've done three techniques so far. A cloud pour, Dutch pour, and a flip cup with silicone. And I'm happy with the way the paints have worked with all three, but I figure it wouldn't be a true test unless I try it on my uh, signature ring and ribbon pour. So I mixed it with my polycrylic mix, and I, when I use that, I always link a video down below how I make a large batch of it. And normally with tube paints, I use four parts or two and a half, three parts medium with um, one part paint. I can't remember. I have to look it up every time myself. As I said, I always put the recipes down below. But I decided I wanted to see how I can really use very little of these paints. And so I went four parts medium, one part paint. And I felt it was too thin for this technique to work. So I'll show you the pink magenta. So I added a dollop of glue all in there and it's better, but I'm, I'm still fear it's a little thin. I probably should have gone less um, medium and a bit more paint. So anyway, we'll give it a try though. And here we go. My colors are Cad orange, cad orange hue, magenta medium, dioxazine purple, and then I mixed some of the magenta and the purple to come up with this nice color, and white. And I did buy myself some of uh, the fluid paint in white, so it made mixing very easy. And here we go. I've used this color combo before, and I really liked it, so I'm hoping I'll get a decent result with it here. It wasn't a ring and ribbon, though, so I'll link it up above if you're interested in seeing it. Yeah, this feels thin. But, as I said, part of this experiment is to see how little of the paint I can use. And I'm just impressed with the, the little bit of paint and the vibrant colors. So, I'm not going to complain about that. Okay, I think I'll reserve the rest in case I need in case I uh, do ribbons and need some fresh color. So set those aside, and here we go. Start right in the middle.
Okay. Um, let me tilt that around and and or should I add some ribbons now? I think I will. So what have I got here? I'll go with the magenta. rest of the dioxazine purple. A little white. Might as well use them all. Okay. And here we go. Okay, I'll move that around and then come back with some skinnier ribbons, perhaps. I'm not loving that white there, so I think I'll say goodbye to that. There we go. I don't mind a little bit of it, but uh, that was too much. That's fun. I like that. It just feels thin. It's moving really fast, but um, it's not bad. If I were to do this again with these paints, I would I would thicken up the mix. Although these paints are liquid, so I don't know that adding more paint is going to do it. I think maybe I would need to add a bigger dollop of glue. All right. I'm just gonna pour this all out. Lots and lots of ribbons and see how it dries. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Not loving it. I think they mixed too much because it was so thin. But I will let it dry so I can see if the uh, little lines stay in place. So there we have it. Experiment number four. Thanks for watching.